Picture yourself standing on the precipice of your boundless potential, sensing an intangible force attempting to pull you back. This subtle yet potent influence is the embodiment of self-doubt, a silent underminer of your dreams and aspirations. True confidence transcends momentary emotions. It is a fundamental skill, a profound mindset that intricately shapes your life's journey. The magnitude of your accomplishments hinges largely on the bedrock of belief in yourself. Consider the numerous instances when raw talent poised for extraordinary feats remain tethered by the chains of fear and uncertainty. Today, we embark on a journey rooted in stoicism, unveiling practical and powerful tips meticulously designed to aid you in reclaiming your self-confidence. These are not mere theoretical concepts, but tangible, actionable steps, finely tuned to resonate with the challenges of modern life. They serve as a guiding light, illuminating the path toward the realization of your best self. This exploration is a reminder that the quest for self-confidence is not a metamorphosis into someone new. Rather, it is an unveiling. It involves peeling away layers of doubt to expose the resilient and capable individual you inherently are. Before we immerse ourselves in this transformative journey, let's ensure that the wisdom gained here extends to others like yourself. Take a moment to express your support by liking, sharing, and contributing to the dissemination of this empowering message. Now let us delve into the profound teachings of Stoicism and navigate the waters of self-discovery and confidence. <coughs> Advice number one. Know yourself. Embarking on the journey of self-discovery is not merely a quest. It forms the bedrock for reclaiming a once-lost self-confidence. Take a moment to delve into the motives behind your actions. Are they propelled by genuine convictions, or are you merely mirroring societal expectations? Stoicism, as espoused by thinkers like Epictetus, underscores the significance of this introspection. It transcends the surface, going beyond the identification of strengths and weaknesses to comprehend the very essence of your being. Authentic self-confidence stems from profound self-awareness, a transformation that originates from within. Aligning your actions with your true self is the key. In the face of life's challenges, wherein our immediate reactions often define us, pause and reflect. Ask yourself, are your responses authentic? Reflections of your beliefs or knee-jerk reactions influenced by external pressures? Building self-confidence surpasses mere acts of bravery. It involves making choices that resonate with your authentic self. This authenticity becomes the breeding ground for confidence. Every decision made in harmony with your true self reinforces your self-belief, fostering a confidence deeply rooted and unwavering. Remember... The journey towards self-confidence begins with understanding and embracing the core of who you are. <coughs> Advice number two. Recognize that certain things are beyond your control. To see, recognizing the immovable forces in life can be akin to pushing against an unyielding wall, a tiresome and seemingly futile endeavor. Life by its nature, harbors aspects resistant to alteration, regardless of our persistent efforts. However, stoicism imparts a powerful perspective shift. It's not solely about the force exerted, but discerning what to push against and what to accept. This distinction is pivotal in the journey to rediscovering lost confidence. It's not about surrender, but strategic insight. Let's dissect this wisdom. We all encounter moments of helplessness, feeling ensnared in uncontrollable circumstances. This is where modern stoic wisdom guides us. Ask yourself, am I attempting to control the uncontrollable? 
a reality check surfaces. We can't dictate others' actions, reverse time, or predict the future. However, the power lies in directing focus towards what can be influenced, your reactions, decisions, and actions. These realms constitute your true dominion. Shifting energy here cultivates strength, adaptability, and most importantly, self-assurance. Accepting the unchangeable isn't synonymous with passive resignation. It's a strategic redirection of focus. Ceasing the struggle with the past or future liberates you to excel in the present. Treat yourself with kindness, especially amid adversities. Stumbling isn't merely acceptable, it's integral for growth. This mindset not only enhances confidence, but instills a sense of calm wisdom into your daily life. You're not merely growing in confidence. You're evolving into a wiser, more serene version of yourself, leading a life that's richer and more meaningful. Remember, genuine confidence isn't about dominating every aspect of life. It's about mastering your responses and concentrating on your strengths. You're not just weathering the storm, you're learning to dance in the rain. Focus on what truly matters. Advice number three, concentrate on what truly counts and ignore the rest. Stoicism isn't just an ancient philosophy, it's a beacon for modern souls swimming in a sea of distractions. Think about the last time you truly felt in control. Was it when your mind was jumping from social media alerts to the latest news, or when you were deeply immersed in something that really mattered to you? Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic emperor, wisely said, Our life is what our thoughts make it. Your focus shapes your reality. It's a powerful tool, yet so many of us let it rust in the hustle of everyday life. Regaining focus means identifying what steals it. Maybe it's the constant buzz of your phone, the desire to please everyone, or worries that cloud your thoughts. Recognize these thieves and consciously limit their power over you. Set boundaries like tech-free hours, or practice the art of saying no to demands that drain your energy. Strengthen your focus like a muscle. Meditation isn't just trendy. It's a time-tested method to answer your thoughts in the present. Start your day by asking, What's the one thing I need to achieve today? This clarity cuts through the noise, making your actions more intentional and your path more confident. Remember, focusing is more than a skill. It's your gateway to inner peace and self-assurance. By channeling your attention to what's crucial, you're not just ticking off tasks, you're building a fortress of calm in a chaotic world. This is the stoic way, understanding that the power to focus isn't just about getting things done, but about crafting a life of purpose and confidence. Advice number four, strengthen your resilience. Toughness isn't a gift, it's a skill honed through life's fires. Stoicism beautifully teaches this art, turning life's harshest lessons into our greatest strengths. Think of toughness as your shield in life's battles, not just to withstand blows, but to emerge victorious, learning and growing with each challenge. In the wise words of Seneca, it's not the events, but our reaction to them that truly defines us. Every stumble, every faltering step is a chance to rise stronger, when life throws curveballs, instead of shrinking back, ask yourself, what lesson lies here? This shift in perspective transforms each obstacle into a stepping stone, edging you closer to wisdom and resilience. Resilience is the heart of stoic toughness. It's about facing challenges with courage, not avoidance or fear. Each time you overcome a hurdle or confront a fear, you're not just surviving. You're evolving into a more confident and capable individual. Remember, resilience isn't just about enduring the storm. It's about learning to dance in the rain. Whether tackling a long overdue task or navigating through personal loss, 
approach each situation with a stoic mindset. Focus not on the event, but on how you handle it. Face life's trials with confidence, knowing that each one is an opportunity for growth and fortification. True stoic toughness involves a blend of acceptance, long-term vision, gratitude, and community. Understand that life's path isn't always smooth or fair, but it's traversable with strength and grace. This acceptance isn't surrender, but a recognition that challenges are integral to life and we're well equipped to handle them. Toughness also means looking beyond today's troubles, considering how current struggles will shape your future. Cultivate gratitude. It's a beacon of hope in tough times, transforming your perspective on challenges into opportunities for growth. And don't underestimate the power of community. Surrounding yourself with supportive people not only uplifts you, but also reinforces the idea that you're not facing life's battles alone. This stoic journey of building toughness is a lifelong commitment to growth and learning. Every experience, joyous or challenging, is a lesson in understanding yourself and the world around you. Embrace life's fluctuations with the trust that you have the strength and wisdom to thrive no matter the obstacle. In essence, stoic toughness is a profound roadmap for navigating life. It teaches us to face difficulties head on, learn from them and harness them to build our confidence and resilience. By embracing stoicism, we don't just overcome challenges, we transform them into catalysts for becoming wiser, stronger, and more self-assured. <coughs> Advice number five, grow your humility. Embracing humility is like unlocking a secret door to confidence. It's not about dimming your light. Rather, it's about recognizing there are millions of other lights shining around you. We often trip over our own pride, mistaking it for confidence. But here's a truth that has stood the test of time, stretching back to the wisdom of stoic philosophers like Epicurus. True knowledge begins with the admission of ignorance. Humility is your foundation for growth. Imagine humility as a soil, rich with potential. Just as a plant doesn't shoot up overnight, neither does genuine confidence. It's a daily practice. Listen more, talk less. Understand that your point of view isn't the only one. When you succeed, remember the contributions of others. There's strength in realizing that everyone has something to teach you. In a world that often values appearances over authenticity, the craving for real connections is palpable. Humility opens doors to these connections by acknowledging that you're part of a larger whole. You're not downplaying your worth, you're enhancing it. Every person you meet carries a universe of experiences different from yours. Learning from them doesn't make you smaller, it makes your world bigger. In this expanded world, your confidence finds its true north. When you credit others for their successes and see their value, you're not just showing respect, you're weaving a rich tapestry of perspectives. It's not about who's right, it's about being open to the endless learning that life offers. This approach not only deepens your relationships, but also solidifies your confidence on a foundation of mutual respect and continuous learning. The journey of humility is also an inward one. It involves the courage to look at yourself honestly, to acknowledge your mistakes, and to take steps to correct them. This self-awareness is a powerful tool for growth. It's about being grateful for your life, your loved ones, and the opportunities that come your way. Gratitude keeps you grounded and connected, reminding you that you're part of something bigger. As you cultivate humility, you don't just grow in confidence, you become a beacon for others, inspiring respect and admiration. Remember, a wise 21st century stoic sage knows that humility isn't a sign of weakness, but a badge of strength a testament to your willingness to learn, to grow, and to connect deeply with the world around you. As we continue exploring this topic, 
If anything has resonated with you so far, I encourage you to share your thoughts below. A brief comment like, I believe in myself is a wonderful way for us to connect. And if you're looking forward to more videos like this, hitting the subscribe button is the way to go. Now, let's further unravel the nuances of our discussion. Advice number six, acknowledge and embrace your personal beliefs. Have you ever felt like you're drifting, unsure of where you stand in the swirling currents of life? It's a common feeling, but there's a powerful anchor available to you, your personal beliefs. These aren't just idle thoughts, they are the bedrock of genuine, enduring confidence. Think of your most cherished values, honesty, loyalty, bravery, kindness. These aren't just words, they're signposts guiding your journey. Living in harmony with these values isn't a casual affair. It demands daily commitment, a steady hand steering the ship of your life through both calm and stormy seas. Now, let's talk about integrity. A word as strong as steel. Living with integrity means your actions are in perfect sync with your beliefs. Yes, it's challenging, especially when the world tries to sway you from your path. But here's where the transformation occurs. Every time you choose to be true to yourself over the easier path, your self-esteem skyrockets. You're not just saying your beliefs matter, you're proving it through action. This isn't about grand gestures, it's found in everyday choices. If honesty is your mantra, then let truth be your language, even when lies seem easier. If kindness is your heart's call, extend it in silent, unseen acts. These small steps forge the path to becoming who you aspire to be. Remember, perfection isn't the goal here. It's about recognizing your missteps and growing from them, turning stumbling blocks into stepping stones. Understand that living by your values isn't just a personal victory, it's a beacon for others. When you steadfastly adhere to your principles, you become a living example of authenticity and trustworthiness. This alignment between belief and action doesn't just bring inner peace, it earns the respect and trust of those around you. More than that, it means holding yourself accountable, owning your actions and their consequences, good or bad. Regular self-reflection is key. Take time to ponder your choices, ensuring they align with your core values. This isn't a one-time exercise, but a lifelong journey of growth and self-improvement. In embracing your beliefs and living them out loud, you become more than just confident. You become a guidepost, a source of inspiration, and a testament to the unshakable power of living a life true to yourself. <coughs> Advice number seven, cultivate daily gratitude. Say, gratitude often whispered in the winds of stoicism is a mighty tool in regaining lost self-confidence. It's not just about the grand gestures of life, but also embracing the everyday joys and victories. Picture this, you wake up and instead of letting worries cloud your thoughts, you pause. You find three simple things to be grateful for. Perhaps the chirping of birds outside your window, the comfort of your favorite t-shirt, or even a text message from a friend. This isn't just feel-good advice, it's a strategy. By recognizing the good, you shift your focus from what's missing to what's present, cultivating a mindset that sees the glass as half full, not half empty. But gratitude isn't a solo journey. It involves acknowledging the roles others play in your life. Take a moment to appreciate the barista who perfects your morning coffee or the co-worker who always lends an ear. Saying thank you might seem simple, yet it builds bridges and forges connections. It's about seeing the value in the support and kindness around you, creating a network of positivity. And when life throws challenges your way, gratitude teaches you to see them, not as roadblocks, but as stepping stones. Each difficulty becomes a chance to learn, grow, and understand the intricate tapestry of life's experiences. 
This mindset doesn't just build resilience, it deepens your appreciation for the complex journey of life. As you weave gratitude into your daily life, remember it's a skill honed through practice and patience. It's about finding beauty in the mundane and learning from the struggles. With each day of gratitude, you're not only rebuilding your self-confidence, you're sculpting a life filled with appreciation and understanding. This journey of gratitude is like nurturing a garden. It requires attention, care and time. But the blooms that follow are vibrant with self-assurance, resilience and a deep-seated understanding of life's value. So start today. Find your three gratitudes and watch as your world transforms one thank you at a time. <coughs> Advice number eight, embrace learning and curiosity. Do you ever feel lost in the maze of self-doubt? It's a common trap, one that saps your self-confidence. But there's a light in that maze, a beacon to guide you out. Learning and curiosity. This isn't about cramming facts from textbooks. It's about a hunger to know more about the vast, diverse world and, crucially, about yourself. Remember Epicurus, the Stoic sage. He said, only the educated are free. He wasn't just talking about formal education. He meant the liberation that comes from daily learning. Be it a quirky fact, a new skill, or seeing the world through someone else's eyes, this journey of continuous learning does more than just fill your head with knowledge. It keeps your mind sharp, engaged and adaptable. Think of it as mental gymnastics, where each new piece of knowledge is a new move, making you more flexible and prepared for life's unexpected flips and turns. And it's not just about you. By understanding different viewpoints, you're not just expanding your mind, you're growing your heart. Talking to people with lives and beliefs different from your own doesn't just teach you new things, it builds empathy, respect, and a genuine appreciation for the colorful tapestry of human experience. So, how do you start? Make a personal pledge to learn something new every day. It doesn't have to be grand. Even the smallest pebble of knowledge can start an avalanche of understanding. Read a book from an author whose background is different from yours. Strike up a conversation with a stranger or simply observe the world with a curious eye. This path of learning and curiosity isn't just a route to regaining your confidence. It's a lifelong adventure that makes you a more informed, empathetic and adaptable human being. And in this ever-changing world, those are the true markers of wisdom and strength. Losing your self-confidence can... In conclusion, do you ever feel like stumbling in the dark, unsure of where to step next? But remember the light of confidence is reignited through actions, not just thoughts. The eight powerful tips we've discussed like embracing challenges, seeking knowledge, and living with purpose as your torch bearers. Apply them, and you'll navigate through the shadows of doubt. This journey isn't just about finding your confidence. It's about forging a stronger, wiser you. It's about turning every stumble into a step forward. So take these tips, make them your tools, and rebuild your self-confidence. You've got this. Thanks for watching. If this resonated with you, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment and share with someone who might need this. Your support helps inspire souls' words, build a community that lights the way for others in search of wisdom.